Anchor IPTV. Today we're talking with Catherine LaDuke, a print advertising account executive. And welcome to the show. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me, Dan. Let's talk about advertising. How has the economy affected the print advertising market? People are keeping their money a lot closer to their vests these days. They're cautious and um, they want to make sure that their money is well spent. It's pretty simple. You specialize in magazines. Does that answer apply to magazines as well as newspapers and so forth? Oh yes, definitely. Okay, so they, they really want to know what, how much bang can they get for their buck if they're going to go ahead and make the leap. You better have your pencil sharpened when you're dealing with real estate advertising these days. Right. And what was it like when the economy wasn't like this? I mean, were you just taking orders? No, no, it's never as simple as that. But, you know, people were spending their money a lot more liberally. So it's, it's a cir circular thing. Yeah. What are you hearing from real estate agents on where they're spending their advertising dollars? What I'm hearing from real estate agencies, agents in terms of where they're spending their advertising dollars, a lot on direct mail. Mm -hmm. um, they want something that they know is, tri is tried and true. So they're okay. still doing magazine advertising, internet, big time. Okay. Do you, is there an internet component to what you do? Yes. Okay, talk about that. We um, are a part of Network Communications, which is actually the world's largest publisher of real estate information. Okay. So they're, pa they're partnered with about 30 real estate websites. So all our inventory in Colorado Homes and Lifestyles and Enclave is uploaded and distributed to all these partner websites, New York Times, Yahoo, Google, Bob Vila, Front Door, the list goes on and on. Okay. So altogether, they're generating between 45 and 60 million unique monthly visits. Mm -hmm. We also have two proprietary sites that are part of NCI, which is livingchoices.com and uniquehomes.com. Both of those are big, big sites generating a lot of activity in and of themselves. And what are some suggestions that you offer a real estate agent on the trackable advertising? Is it a promotion code? What is it? I think the most effective thing for our, your average broker out there is to create individual websites for each one of their properties and procure a domain that is the address uh -huh. or the name of the home, you know, the manor house at, at Cherry Creek Village or what have you, dot com. That way a consumer knows that they're going to get information instantaneous, instantaneously, which is what people expect on the internet. Mm -hmm. They don't want to go to a realtor's website. They don't want to register to look at that realtor's inventory. They don't want to go to a realty firm website because there's too much clicking around. They just want to get to that house and they want more information for that house. So you're sending them from the magazine ad into the website? Well, magazine ads anymore today like other types of, of advertising, are drivers of traffic to a website. Okay. So that's really the conduit that we're trying to provide for people because, again, that's where everybody qualifies what they do is they go to the Internet and look up, and then by the time they make a phone call, they're a much more qualified prospect for that advertiser. Good information. Catherine, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.